Good afternoon, MPC. Magandang hapon, Secretary Salvador Panelo. Good afternoon. MPC, questions? Ate Rose. Mike, please. Uh, okay, Ate Rose. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, pwedeng malaman ko ano agenda ng cabinet meeting mamaya. Wala pa sa akin eh. Pero pero nung last kasi sir na briefing ang sabi niya pwedeng talakayin yung pagtanggal ng Filipino course sa college. Filipino subjects sa college. That might be taken up. Ang alam ko mamaya yung updates ng oil prices. May discussion pati yung, yung mga pinagkasunduan during the ASEAN. Extension ng martial law. Wala, wala yung... Alam ko wala yun. Unless, unless na it will be raised dun sa other matters. <clears throat> yung pagbawi, sir, nung suspension ng excise tax. Oo, oh, siguro pag-uusapan yun. Okay, thank you. MPC, question? <coughs> Henry? Henry Uri? Ito wala si Joseph. Secretary, magandang hapon. Henry, please. Um, nagkausap na ba kayo ni Secretary Dominguez, Secretary Pernia, any of the member of the economic team tungkol po sa excise tax kung itutuloy ba yung implementation o hindi? Mamaya, magkakausap kami sa cabinet meeting. So, hindi pa ho kayo nagkakausap. Ano ang tsansa na <coughs> ito ay uh, masuspindi o ituloy? 50-50, 60-40, ano pong tsansa? Malalaman natin mamaya when we meet. Hindi so, discuss pa yan. So, hindi pa ho kayo talaga nagkausap? Maski pa, kailan? Wala pa. Okay. okay. Thank you, Henry. Nes, uh, Nestor? So, Nestor. mamaya sigurado na hong didesisyonan ito? Most likely. Most likely. We'll let you know immediately. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Hello. Morning, Secretary. Morning. Uh, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Defense, Sec uh, Defense Secretary Lorenzana said this morning that he was not inclined to recommend to the President the declaration of a unilateral holiday truce with the communist rebels because they will use this to reinforce their group. What's the palace take on this, sir? Mamaya, di-discuss namin yan. Yeah, so, so what's the position of the palace on the recommendation the of... The position is, we will discuss it. <laughs> there will be discussion, necessarily, for any recommendation by any member of the cabinet. Do you see any advantage, <coughs> sir, on the part of the government if there, if, uh, well, there's a truce or walang truce? There should be permanent truce. There should be no bloodshed as far as the government is concerned. It's about time we stopped all this bloodshed. It's been 50 years, my God. Nestor? Let's end the internism among Filipinos. Uh, MPC, question. Nestor, any follow-up? Uh, uh, other matters at okay. uh, Celerina, then uh, Joseph. Sir, uh, the president yesterday, but he said that it was just a joke regarding the <coughs> use of marijuana. Um, with that, there's this discussions again, my discussions again, uh, uh, to revive the, um, lega to legalize um, medical marijuana. So is the PALA supporting this move by some lawmakers, if ever, to revive and, if ever, legalize the use? Well, the president has already made a statement on that prior. He said, for purposes of medicine, to heal <clears throat> is in favor, but not for use other than that. Now, with respect to the joke, you know, you cannot deprive any person not because he's the president, to crack jokes. As he said, he does it because usually events are boring. So he gives some jokes to make us laugh. Pero, sir, when you mean First, marijuana is not a stimulant to make you awake. It's the opposite. 
So it's obviously wala na kagad logic. Nagpapatawa talaga siya. Pero the sure wala alone, namang natawa. The fuck alone na nagtawanan yung mga tao. <laughs> Talagang joke nga. Nagtawa. He, he looked serious. Parang hindi naman nakakatawa yung sinabi niya. Eh bakit niya. nagtawa na ng mga tao? Sige nga. <laughs> Parang wala tawa, naman tawa sure na tumawa. Sila. Tawa na sila. <laughs> Sir, bakit, how... Ang hindi ko kasi mahit mo bakit pati yung mga jokes. Oh nga, how can we know that the president is serious or is just joking? Kasi there's this presumption that if you're <clears throat> stating something, especially if you're the president, that's the policy or you're saying what is yung truth. Ang, ang test mo doon, pag walang logic, nagpapatawa ka. Pag yung audience mo tumawa, nagpapatawa ka. Pero kung makita mo reaction ng tao, sumimangot, they will feel offended. Ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi nagjo-joke yun. Pero like kami, hindi naman kami tumawa. Eh siguro so, hindi nyo wala ko one joke. <laughs> oh. Oh, Celery na, okay na. Uh, Joseph, still on the uh, truth about the joke? Okay. Celery na, okay. Joseph, uh, on the... Uh, there's in Dutland on sub before we leave the topic. No? But of that? course, the president, he said naman yesterday that he's joking and then it's his right, whatever, no? But he's the president. Somehow, his words carry weight, no? And the question becomes, how do we know if the president is telling us the truth or not anymore? To that. If, if there's no logic. One, if there's no logic, if people, the audience would laugh, mm. then it's a joke. Alam naman natin kung ano joke at hindi. Mm -hmm. Pero sir, wala tayong nakikita na problem na that is the president. Is he should be a little <clears throat> more maybe careful with the words. Eh, every now and then lang ang joke siya ikaw naman. Okay, okay. Sir, position ng palas sa medicinal, nasagot nyo naman yan. Yung sa why, why do you think, do you think there are people here that, add, that need Medical marijuana? There have been researches. In fact, in some countries, legalize ang marijuana. Mm -hmm. oh, you pointed it out, Canada. In fact, in, in some states in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Ginagamit talaga yun. Pero siyempre controlled yun, regulated. And you're for that, controlled, no? The president is for that. Nagbigay na siya ng mensahe dyan mm -hmm. pa. Sir, yun muna sa akin. Later na iba. Mm -hmm. uh, MPC. May di ba may mga proposed bills na nga in Congress? <coughs> okay. Chona, uh, about the issue of marijuana or other matters? Sir, si Presidente ba nag-try talaga ng marijuana ever? Never in his life. <laughs> Sir, sorry. Did, did, did you ask uh, him? Uh, Celerina, excuse me. May follow up yata si Chona. Okay na. Okay. So, did Sorry. you ask him if he ever took marijuana? Did you not hear Senator Soto said? He asked him. But you? I don't have to ask him because we've been together for 30 years, never. But he's 72, 74. Even then, he, he never, never. Otherwise, <laughs> may kikwento niya yun kung, kasi napapag-usapan namin. Did How about you, sir? Did you hmm. use marijuana? I don't, I don't need it. <laughs> If the marijuana, the mar if the marijuana makes you high, I'm always high. Salary na okay na. We will go back to Chona. Chona okay na, okay na. Na itanong na no. Okay, Julie, Julie. Sir, okay. Um, if we're saying that we should be able to distinguish whenever the president makes a joke and when it's not a joke, we should also remember that children are also watching him who may not be intellectually, you know, capable of distinguishing which is a joke and which is are not. And so don't you of, and incapable also of understanding. Yeah, but whether still it's a it's, joke or not. Yeah, but so still if they're incapable mm -hmm. of understanding it, so there is no harm. But, but there is harm, sir, in saying that the president takes marijuana and the children might take it seriously. They they might watch the news, sir. Well, I I think we're dwelling on this joke thing more than we, <laughs> we should. Hindi importante. Let's talk more seriously about serious things, not jokes. 
So, so just last on the matter, sir. So we will we will just leave it at that that the president should be allowed to make jokes without <coughs> taking into consideration. Everybody mm -hmm. is entitled to a joke. Yeah, without taking into Even consideration. Even presidents are entitled to jokes. Yeah, without taking into consideration that you know he might have to remember to set a good example to children. He has set a good example by being a good leader. One joke will not make him a bad leader. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, Julie. Uh, MPC, shift na tayo ng uh, ibang topic. Okay. Joseph? Sir, kapon po sa tree lighting, uh, he mentioned something about the COA, no? And Who? the COA. Uh, Commissioner COA. Audit, yes, sir. And then uh, he said that he's going to talk to the COA commissioner, a uh, chairman, uh, because of uh, some investments not moving. And if I may quote just for co your context, no? uh, huh? so here, the Philippines has been known as a country which does not honor contractual obligations. And yet, COA, this is his plea, if you are listening now, it should be reasonable and sane enough to know that in the Constitution, yada, yada. So, Instead of rendering an opinion that blocks the project, why don't you just invent if you have to? May we know the context we seem to be referring to a particular contract that is not moving because of maybe some adverse findings from the COA? I do not know what project he was referring to. What he's saying is that if it is against the interests of this country with respect to investments, then we need to do something about certain regulations that instead of helping, restricts, and uh, scares away investments. But is that not the point of having a commission on audit to check whether there will be you know, some questionable transactions in government? When the president says invent, if he used the word invent, what he, what, what, what he means by invent is you try to evaluate whether or not your opposition or your auditing are within what the law prescribes. Because you may be misreading the provision of the law. MPC, Joseph, follow up. MPC questions? Wala na? Wala na? Oh, Tina. Tina. Sir, uh, si Defense uh, Secretary Lorenzana said, the Philippines cannot physically, physically confirm China's weather stations dun sa uh, <coughs> South China Sea. Uh, wala na po bang efforts ang gobyerno to check kung totoong may weather stations natin ayo ang China dun sa area. Well, apparently the Secretary of National Defense has already done his job. <clears throat> so, so we will just uh, let it be na wala tayong alam. Does this that does not reflect the capability of the Philippine Armed Forces to even verify these things? But I think that uh, Mr. Lorenzana has already made some checking. That's why he made that statement. He just said that cannot physically confirm, but it did not say that there is actually no construction of such in the area. Well, because if you need to go inside the territory that this particular country claims that it's theirs. So you may have some problems there. It may even provoke something that we don't want. So we cannot uh, invoke our rights over <coughs> that area. At least to go uh, they there. They claim that they're, it's theirs, but the arbitral ruling says it's ours. Meanwhile, nobody seems to want to enforce it. That's precisely why we're using the mechanism of diplomacy and negotiation. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Tina. Uh, Joseph, let's go back to Joseph. Sir, let's, sir may question now. May nabasa lang sa tungkol sa Bohol closure. No? Bohol? Yes, sir. During the um, opening of the Panglao Airport, 
the mm. cabinet secretaries, uh, the three one, no, the DNR, DOT, D, uh, DILG, met with the local officials of Bohol, and there was a meeting. And in that meeting, allegedly, that there was a, uh, I think, an executive order, unsigned by the president yet, that will order something on the beaches of uh, Panglao. Would that is the first time I've heard of it. I was there with the cabinet members you mentioned. Meeting with the LGU, right? Did you go with the wala meeting? Wala akong alam na nag-meeting kami doon. Ah, uh, okay. Paka po yung tatlo. Wala akong... Not even the three. Sila, Secretary... Uh, I don't know about that, but I, I never noticed or heard anything about that. There's no executive order prepared for signing for the president? None that I know of. Ah, kasi sir, kayo yung kinukot na meron daw kayong pinakita. Wala yun? Oh, wala. Wala. All right. Okay. Ngayon ko lang narinig yan. Thank you. MPC, questions? No more questions? Okay. Well done, eh? Meron pa? Uh, Chona, Chona. <laughs> Chona or Julie? <laughs> Either of the two. Sir, anong participation ng Presidente sa pagdating ng Balang ni Gabel next week? Wala, mamaya siguro we will discuss it. Hindi pa namin alam. Alam ko lang may parang military ano, ceremonya. Mm. Yan ang alam ko. Mamay, makiklear lahat yun. Tuloy ba yung December 12 nyo? We'll have the balangiga as guests. We will have the bells installed there. Mas dito lang yung balangiga. Totoo ba may contest kayo? Yes, sir. I will come as you. Akala ko ba si, ano, Chona? Yeah, Chona can also do that. So, dalawa will be competing. Wow. That's how famous you are. Really? Really? <laughs> Oh, uh, Secretary, may nagpapatanong lang na taga, ano, taga Malacanang. Kailan daw bibigay yung, ano, yung 50,000 K? Ah, 50 K. Na, ano. Tanongin ko mamaya kung kailan. Kayo lang, kayo ba makakatanggap nun? Ah? Uh, Joseph, uh, uh, to clarify things about doon sa 50 K, Joseph, please. Sir, on behalf of the other employees of Malacanang, Kahapon na nagtatanong, sino ba yung makakakuha ng 50K? Is it just the OP or the whole... Hindi ko alam eh. I'll ask, mamaya. I'll ask. Uh -huh. Tungkol doon sa 50,000. Ah, Henry. Uh -huh. Okay na tayo doon sa 50K. Uh -huh. Employees eh. Uh -huh. Uh, hindi lang natin alam kung kasama yung casual. Doon kaya... Hindi, hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi, hindi. hindi. <laughs> And then, Henry, <laughs> Henry. Secretary, binanggit ng Pangulo ka hapon na yung KMU, uh, Gabriela, at saka bayan muna ay mga front ng NPA. So ano ang rekomendasyon ng uh, pala sa AFP, sa PNP, sa mga miyembro at mga leader nito? Ano ang susunod na hakbang? Mayroon bang gagawin ng gobyerno laban sa kanila. <coughs> eh, ang ano dyan, they should always work within the law. Kasi kung ginagamit nilang fronts yun ng, ng arm elements ng NPA, may problema tayo. They will be violating the law. They can be charged with. May warning ba ho ang uh, palasyo, ang tanggapan ng Pangulo sa mga ito? Well, the fact alone that the President has made that statement, that's already a warning to them. All right. Thank you. Okay na, Henry. MPC. Uh, Jopel. Mike, please. Uh. Sir, good afternoon. Um, sir, sinusuporta sino ni Presidente yung pagkaka-aresto kina sa Tour Ocampo and the uh, company. Um, pero ngayon, ay uh, nakapag-bail po sila. So, anong ibig, sabi ibig sabihin nito, sir? Um, Ipapa-aresto po ulit? Ibig sabihin... Yung due process ay tumatakbo at tinaoobserbahan. Ang policy ng presidente sa lahat ng mga ganitong klaseng bagay, the presumption of regularity always apply to every act, undertaking, moves by an official of the government. E kaya yung mga nanghuli sa kanila, kung meron silang basis ng pag -aresto, the presumption is regular yun. Na kung may reklamo ka, you sue them. Eh, since nandiyan na yan sa 
Office of the Prosecutor. Sa ngayon, nasa Office of the Prosecutor pa yata. <clears throat> Binigyan sila ng bail ang hukuman kasi karapatan nila yon. So, kaya na lang natin na tumakbo ang sistema ng pangkatarungan nito sa ating bansa. Maraming salamat, uh, Joe Pell, MPC. No more questions? questions. No more? Thank maraming you. Salamat, maraming salamat, spokesperson uh, Salvador Panelo. Let's go back to uh, Radio Pilipinas and PTV. Sir, baka naman may decision.